in this material in only a few minutes. I will show you how you can use Sora. So after you can create AI generated videos from scratch. But before that, remember you can join our AI community. We've got plus 12 courses and also we have our Sora Masterclass. So I will put the link in the description of this video. Go ahead to Sora.com website and set up an account. Click in the right top corner on login. Click on sign up and here provide an email or continue with Google, Microsoft or Apple. After you log in, in the middle of the page your videos you created will appear. You can click on them and here preview the prompt and also see the quality, time and length. To create your videos at the bottom of the page in the prompt box, you need to type your description. Avoid providing simple descriptions. Instead, just type wild horses running through a grassy meadow. Provide adjectives. Provide um, lighting. Provide camera settings and even the style. So here, for example, we've got the documentary style photography. For your prompts, additionally, you can provide images or videos to base on them. Either you can upload from library or device. If you choose from library, you have your previous videos that are created, so you can provide them and base on them. Additionally, you can choose some settings, aspect ratio, quality, time, and variations of the videos, or even the presets. You've got different presets, so for example, these are different styles that will be applied to your creation. With all that being said, you can click on create video. At the left side, you have different tabs. You can explore videos created by community. You can see the top rated ones, liked ones, or even um, you can search your videos, favorites, search your uploads, or even archive some videos, or just create new folders, so organize your videos by, for example, theme. When your video is created, you can click on it to preview. In the right top corner, you can share it with friends, download, or even you can add to folder, report, or even archive. At the bottom of the page, you can run the same creation, however, edit the prompt and adjust the settings. For example, aspect ratio, quality, and time. Then you can preview the story. So here you open the timeline and there you can provide some additional parts. So in particular, specify what should happen at the specific time of the video. So from the second two or even second four. Also, you can add images or videos to your story by clicking here. Afterwards, at the bottom of the page, you can choose settings and create the entire story. After a minute, in the right top corner, you can open notifications and open video that was created. When you are inside of your video, you've got additional options. You can recut, remix, blend, or loop. We can recut, so simply you can change the frames um, of this video. So for example, decrease the size, increase the size, and there let um, algorithm generate the rest of the story. So here, as you can see, I let the algorithm to generate two first seconds of the video. Even I can click on these three dots and split the clip or even use the option, which is slip. So here I can choose the specific frames of the video. When you click on the remix option, simply you can choose different variations, mild, subtle, strong. So it defines um, actually um, the changes that will happen on the video. And mostly it will be about the appearance and look. So let me choose mild and click on the remix. Blend option allows us to make transition between some specific clips. So let me choose one very similar video. And here we have four different options. Transition, sample, mix, and custom. In custom, we can customize the depth and all of the statistics right here. For now, let's choose the mix option. So simply we merge clips together. Let's blend it. Loop option allows us to make seamless loop. We have three options, short, normal, long. Short is very dynamic, normal is very soft, and long um, takes more time um, to create the entire loop. Let's pick short. Now we can specify the part of the video we would like to loop, and we can click on loop. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Also remember, I will put the link to my AI community where you can find Sora Masterclass. You can learn everything about this tool and master this amazing software. For now, thank you and see you in the next material.